Hi. Okay, so today we're going to fix the um, inside of our little box. And you will need, if you're working with me, I'm using Holiday Happiness. And I'm going to use the other side of it. But we're going to take off that little white strip at the top. And I like to measure. I know some patterns, <clears throat> when you do them on the internet, they give you the measurements. But I like to measure. I do my own measuring. So this is going to be it's two inches deep. So I'm going to go ahead and cut about two of those at two inches deep. Okay, and then I'm going to measure it across. Let's do the back first. It doesn't matter, the back or the front. So this is six and seven eighths. So I'm going to make it six and three quarters. So I need two at six and three quarters. And your measurements might be just a little bit different than mine. Oh, that's just about perfect. So you know how we make sure it fits. We just kind of lay them in there. And then this one, oh, yay, this is going to fit. We're going to get the other two ends off of this. So I'm going to measure this. And it's about five inches, so I'm going to make it five and three quarters. Wrong. Let's see. Oh yeah, so it's four and three quarters. Oof, duh. Okay, so after we've done that, let's go ahead and smudge everything. At least these four pieces we're going to go ahead and smudge. just to get the white gone off of our edge. I'm not really <clears throat> putting much ink down on the paper here, but at least you can see I'm holding it perpendicular, right like that. And I'm going to bring you in just a little bit closer. There we go. This is such nice paper. It's very uh, thick, but you can tell that the grams per square inch are pretty tight, it seems. <clears throat> okay, once we've done that, then we're just going to go ahead and glue them in. And I'm just starting with a big one. It doesn't really matter. I like those little birds, too. They're pretty. Now, because I have these lips, I'm not actually going to be able to flip it like this and use the table. So what I am going to use is my hand, and I'm going to support it very well as I go across here.
And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to go ahead and glue it down. And again, you can't lay it against the table to use the table as support. So you just have to use your hand on the inside. And I'm keeping it a little closer to the top as I glue this in. The edges are a little bit closer to the top. I'm getting so many notifications. I, I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Okay, and then we'll do the shorter ones. And then we'll go ahead and measure for the bottom. And the bottom is pretty much like we've done for other projects when we measure for it. I'm just taking off the excess glue that I've gotten. Okay, one last piece. Ooh, oh, that's looking pretty. Um, now that you know the tricks, you can design your own boxes or books because you know um, uh, how we measure sizes, how we you know, if you're going to make a five by seven, you know to make at least one side a seven by however deep, and then you make this five plus about one eighth of an inch. So you're kind of learning a lot of skills that are transferable. Okay, let's measure for the bottom. Now, we know that this is about, mm, Four, I think I'm going to make it four and seven eighths. And I'm kind of measuring on the inside of my chipboards. Six and three quarters. So I'm going to cut my four and seven eighths first. I know you can't really see very well. Oh, let me put the lid on my glue. Make sure to cap, keep your glue capped so that it doesn't dry out. So we're going to do four and seven eighths. Okay. Now, remember when we check to see if this fits, we take this side. Yep, and that'll fit. Now it won't fit this way because we haven't cut that yet. So we're going to do six and three quarters. What did we say? Six and three quarters? Yeah, mine is six and three quarters. So I have to open this. I'm going just a little bit beyond the three quarters. And let's check it. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let's go ahead and smudge it. Get our little white edges all hidden. you can see that. No, because the other side's white. That's okay. Take my word for it. We are covering up the white of our cut edge. And then we're going to go ahead and put glue on it and glue it in.
And I'm going to use the warmth of my hand first. Now this is laying down on the table, so I can just go ahead and start burnishing. I'm going to get my edges and my corners really well. Now, this is what's nice about finishing the edge. It looks very nice and neat. So, I'm going to go ahead and let you finish these edges. But you and I are going to do this one. And my paper that I've chosen is I'm going to use these, but I'm also going to use this picture. So, I'm going to get my... Oops, I dropped that. And I'm going to have to push this back. So sorry. And I'm going to go ahead and, first of all, I am going to cut Remember how we, I'm trying to cut at that blue line. So remember how we use our knife to just kind of make a mark? Oh, and that's about perfect. So let's go ahead. And then you can see if you've gone close enough to the edge that you want to cut. Now I'm going to do it again on this side. That's about perfect. Okay, and once I have those two edges cut, then it's easy to line up this edge. I just line them up on my cut area. And let's do the other side because we're going to need two of these. We're going to need a corner here and a corner here or vice versa. Just as long as you get two corners we're going to be okay. Those I probably will not be able to use. Oh, I might have been able to use them. Okay, never mind. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and line this up. And I can already tell that's not going to hit my blue. So let's go ahead and move it this way just a little bit. Perfect. So I'm just going to cut to the edge of the blue and your knife will have a little line that tells you when to stop. So I've stopped there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and try to line this up. And I kind of remembered where I put it there. Yep. Okay, so this one I am going to cut clear from the edge and I'm going to stop. There we go. Okay, so I have a perfect square or a perfect corner. And what I want to do is I am going to tick mine. I'm going to put it here where I want it to be and I'm going to come down here, I'm going to mark it with a little notch right there. So I want to cut at about that notch. Save that, you might be able to use it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the corner where I think I want it. Bring it over here real close to my edge. We are going to cover it up so it's not big. I'm going to put my notch and then I'm going to go ahead put my notch on the cut line and cut. So you should have one half of your frame. And I did. I kept the blue. And I will show you why later. So we're going to do the same thing with the other corners. Now it should be just a little bit easier because we have at least one reference point. 
but I'm going to mark that. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, make my mark, end where my the line is on my knife, and bring it down. And then we're going to flip it. And I kind of know where it is, but I'm going to check it. I'm going to check it here. That's a little too far. Okay. Yep. I'm going to take it to my edge and then all the way up. So you'll do the same thing with this that you did with this one. They could even be pretty close to exactly the same. So you might just want to try marking here and marking here and then laying it on your box. Yep, yep, that looks good. So we can cut those. I always check because you never know. So I'm going to keep these because I might be able to use them for a frame elsewhere. So let's just put those over there for now. And let's, again, I'm going to check just to make sure. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks nice. That looks really nice. Okay, so the other thing that I do want is I want to cut Santa. Um, he is going to be the center of my front. So I'm going to... There. And again, you're going to have to watch and line up your knife. Now, those are kind of easy. This one, I am not quite sure, so I'm going to use my, oh, I call it my game. I think that's good. And so there, I've cut that out. That looks pretty good. I'm going to put this aside because I can use some of those later. Now, let me put my cotton scoreboard away. And I am going to go ahead and check and see. Do I want to put this down first? And then put this down? Yes, I think I do. So, in order to do that, I am going to go ahead and put my corner in where I want it to go and then I'm going to draw a line because this is going to be covered okay and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side I'm going to go actually put this down pretty close to where I want it to go I'm going to draw my line on both ends. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but I've drawn kind of a box around. So what I want to do is when I put this picture in here, actually, it's going to be the other way. I'm going to use this for, remember, I made two. <laughs> I'm actually going to go ahead and lay this on top of here so that I have and I'm going to do it again because I did it on the wrong box. So let's go ahead and put it close to the corner and we want to have a little bit of black edge around it. So I'm going to draw my line, draw 
on my line. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't know if you realize this, I made two of these. I'm using them for gifts. So I have two boxes going at one time. I'm just showing you how to decorate the one. Okay, so there we have it. And that is for our fancy little edging. So I want to make sure I know which end is top. Okay, that's the top. So I am going to go ahead. Oh, actually, actually, when I look at this, I can do the let it snow, keep the let it snow. So I'm cutting off the let it snow because that's falling outside of my parameters where I need my picture to be. And I'm going to go ahead and try and just eyeball this and cut it without my cut and scoreboard. So that can be used as a frame or I can cut the pieces apart later put that over there. So then when I look at this, there we go. I do want to make sure that the season's greetings is showing. So I'm going to put a little tick here and a little tick here. Okay. And then, oh, perfect. So I'm not going to smudge this because it's going to be covered, but let's go ahead and put nice beads of glue on this entire paper. Uh, for those of you who are just doing the paper projects, I do have Fridays when I do uh, knitting. And we might get to crochet later, but we are definitely doing knitting right now. Okay, so I got those. And I have the box under here, but I am still going to support that because I don't want to ruin the other box underneath. Okay, so these ones we do want to smudge. Our little corners are pretty little corners. And I'm going to smudge all of it. And you can see I'm not laying down ink on my paper. I'm holding this perpendicular, which means up and down from the edge. Okay, there's one. Let's do the other one while we have our ink out. This would have been real pretty with some green ink, I think. Or even maybe a red, a Christmassy red for smudging purposes. Okay, so we have all of that smudged. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and put at least one side down. And I may have some black show, which I don't worry about that because the black kind of makes it pop. So let's go ahead and put our glue on this entire corner section. This is such a cute frame. I do like how uh, Graphic 45 does that. And then I'm going to lay that pretty close to where I want it. Yep, and I have just a little bit too much here, so I'm gonna cut this off. And again, I'm going to support that while I burnish, or while I, yeah, while I burnish. And then I'm going to do the top. So let's go ahead and glue that top pot piece. to kind of do the same thing. 
I'm going to get it pretty close to my edge of my box. I'm not pushing that down because that needs cut. And this goes down here. And I'm going to take my scissors and try and just cut off a very thin piece. And I'm going to try and get it smudged before it gets laid down there. There we go. Okay, so we have a frame around our Santa. Now I'm going to go ahead and let you do the outsides. These are very easy to measure. You can do this one. But there is your box. And we will put ribbons through here so that we can tie it closed, but you'll have to get these done. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this series. It's been rather fun. Um, I am waiting on more tags so that we can do the tag album, and that will come a little bit later. Okay, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.